Go is trying to, uh, you know, put a stop to this storybook ending as we actually see the Lucario from him moving into game one. Yeah, and it's crazy because um, the last couple of sets that we've seen from Vivi, we've been seeing the hero. I think the last two games, the last two games that he won, last two sets they won, excuse me, were with hero. So going back to the Lucario is going to be a little bit interesting to see. Now, actually, here's a question. Who sent Vivi in here to losers? You know, the, oh. Uh, okay, a little bit of a technical issue here. Uh, do you think they're going to restart the match, or are they just going to play from where it is? Probably just play from where it is. All right, just playing from where it is. All right, reset to neutral. I like this. And they're taunting to make sure that uh, each other is ready. Nice, gentlemanly behavior. Yeah, yeah, we do out here. Do we do, do it out here in single like gentlemen? You know what I mean? Did you see Neutral Air getting parried and unpunished? From uh, Lucario Neutral Air. Oh unpunished. yeah, I don't know. That I don't know. That's, that's I think stress, stress is problem. <laughs> 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 but um, no, uh, that Again, that yeah, he's no. He's but... trying to Neutral Air. It is the problem. I mean, like Lucario, I guess low profiles on the uh, landing lag of Neutral yeah. Air. Yeah, yeah, actually, nice pancakes a little bit. You can't Neutral Air. I like that. Yeah, but right now it's still a pretty close game. Um, it's now party time uh, for Vivi, and he's and, you know he's been utilizing that bounce yeah. a lot lately, just to mix up the recovery timing. Did these two fight in winners? I'm not sure, but stretch sent into losers by Vivi. Did he? I think we can get a little bit of confirmation on that. Oh, um, oh look at the bracket. Um, but yeah, but with that being said, um, Vivi taking his stock 80% <laughs> for our up air. Yeah. Oh, trying to up B. I love that, but the deck, that's so beautiful. He's going to make what, it. What, yo. I didn't even see him. He wasn't even on the screen. He was not on the screen. All right. Yep, so this is, in fact, the run back in winners. I believe it was actually a 2-0 or something of those lines. Pretty dominant from VV. Let's see if Stretch, you know, he's definitely feeling himself. A big win over PK Chris right before this. Is that going to be enough that, uh, you know, maybe he'll discover, unlock the inner gates of power and beat VV in the run back here? Remains to be seen, but he's honestly looking pretty good right now. Yeah, and this is this going to actually be pretty tough for Lucario. It's just like, you know, sort of characters in general. But especially the way Stretch plays, right? He does a lot of, he does a lot of these safe errors, a lot of these payback errors, and he's very, very cautious about how he throws it through. So it can be pretty hard for somebody like VV to get in consistently. <gasps> oh, unpunished. That upbeat on this save specifically, it's actually quite good because, you know, he can upbeat to that top platform. But if he's not careful, I mean, whiffing an upbeat on Lucario is basically, I think I said before, that's how you lose your soul. Yeah, but right now, you know, Stretch still taken to the bank, but you're right. Um, you know, one of those upbeats can net you a stock loss, especially like, you know, because the point of doing it is not getting punished hard, but Lucario with Aura is going to punish you like, the hardest, to the hardest extent. Oh, yeah. In the meantime, Stretch looking pretty good. That stock was taken with almost barely any damage thrown onto him. The issue is, though, can he actually seal the deal? Like, if he dies, like, here's the thing. Right now, this looks pretty good for Stretch. Uh, even if he gets another 50, 60% of extra credit in, it looks good for him until he loses his stock. Yeah, and in this in this scene now, just like you said, now see, now it's time to play the game, right? Lucario's numbers are at yellow. Now he's at orange. Now he's at, at light red. Now it's actually... Uh, you You're bringing to him to the red, you fool! You have to take his stock now, right? Because then you have a problem. Yeah, the question is, like, Lucina, she's good kill power, but uh, besides a forward smash, you're not going to be killing, like, disgusting, literally. Yeah, unless you get Lucario off stage and get a decent edge guard. That is true. No way! Yep. And you know what's crazy about that? A lot of people don't challenge that bounce because you know that bounce is safe, right? Lucario can almost act instantly. But in that situation, um, Stretch kind of read that and just, just up smashed, yeah. right? Can we get a replay on that? I feel like he was so close to getting hit by the up B. Nice here. It was the grab, just recognizing that he was holding shield. Ah, uh, no, no, no. It was actually pretty... Oh, he no, dropped no, he dropped shield. shield. I was about That's to say, happened. I was about to say, yeah, yeah like, yeah, he's, yeah. like, instantly... He got instantly shield after that. He actually dropped... Yeah, he dropped... He tried to do something. He tried oh. to think shield grab. Oh, that was a roll. All right. Or uh, 
Our eyes in the sky have confirmed that that was an attempted roll. Okay. But you are vulnerable at the start of roll before you get that invincibility. Mm. And that's when he got hit by that up smash. Great stuff to stretch. Taking game one, making a bit of a statement here. Do you think we ever see the switch to hero? If you no, stop to not against the sword character. I, I feel like we wouldn't see a switch to hero against the sword character unless, like, you know, He's down. We actually, I feel like against a sword character, we might see the Terry before we see the hero. Wow, okay. Yeah. I mean, the fact that uh, VV did take it in winners with the uh, Lucario means we're probably in for Lucario uh, Lucina matchup for however many games we're going to have between yeah, these two. VV did, VV did beat Stretch. Um, don't know what the set count was, but yes, VV did, did put Stretch in the losers. Good damage, though, from Stretch. You know, we were talking about how Stretch is really good with these safe aerials. The other thing he's really good with are those ledge traps. Reactions, his coverage are just so good. Oh, but maybe that's what VV wanted. He's like, sure, you can ledge trap me for 50%. Yeah, sometimes, especially when I watch VV play, I feel like he intentionally does things to get a trade and not care. I'm just like, he's not this careless all the time, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. It, Strategy. It's also like a weird advantage because then you can miscondition your opponent. <laughs> you know, if you do something at lower percents that gets you punished, and they assume you're going to keep doing that. Yeah. Once again, that up B out of shield by Lucina actually sending them in the wrong direction. And Vivi, so Vivi does these aura sphere charges, right, and waits to see how people react because you can't get true confirms off of it. Sometimes people air dodge early and stuff like that or roll in. And Vivi's been watching out, um, watching out for those habits from stretch right now he might get punished really hard dude i'm loving the movement and the placement the positioning is so good right now from both players the back end of that neutral are almost doing it he goes yeah. way out there and it works and that's what you need to do yeah and that's exactly what you need to do and stretches stretch is catching up man these past couple sets by him even in previous sets he's been edge guarding really hard and you could tell Oh, he read that roll, but not quite in the right position for it. That back air absolutely going to take that stock <laughs> 10 times over. And now we have once more back to a dead even game. Uh, only 20% for each of them. The thing is, like, one thing we haven't really seen are any grabs from BB. Mm -hmm. Which kind of makes sense. It's hard to grab a sword character, but even at these lower percents, uh, Lucario can get a lot off of a uh, grab when he doesn't have any aura. Yeah, well, yeah, but it's just like, you know, Stretch is just one of those characters. He, excuse me, one of those players. He definitely he just swings, yeah, sw yeah, he swings a lot to, you know, just keep his space. He does it very well. So, uh, a lot of those space down airs, too. It's very hard to punish. Uh, would we ever see a counter on that extreme speed, or does extreme speed just blaze right past no, it? Yeah, it wouldn't work. <gasps> oh, that was so good. Getting away from that force palm. That <gasps> I think he was he was doing one of those fade back aerials, yeah. and that's the risk of fading back. It also means you'll fade right into the blast zone if you actually get hit. Yeah, and there you go. Grab confirm 37%, especially with the aura. Yeah, and this is this is the thing. Like, I feel like when Stretch is up a stock, it's a little bit of a relief, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean anything for the final state of the game. But if Lucario is up a stock... Yeah, that's... Oh. Game! You know? Yeah, he's... He's so dead if he gets hit yeah, by yeah, yeah. any he's of just, He wants that rolling so bad. The stretch stay in this one, though, not giving him that rolling. And then he finally does it, and VB's not there. Ooh. The question is whether he can... I mean, I've seen it make some nutty comebacks. Not this time around, though. Can we, can we... Yo, I want to... Hey, I want to see. I want to play a game. I want to see how many frames it takes Lucina to fly off the screen. Okay? <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Pause it. First uh, of all, this was great. Okay. Okay. You, oh, wait, you oh, missed wait, your oh time. Oh, my God. How? How? Wait. Okay. Wait, I got it. Boom, boom. Go back 10 frames here. I understand. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. So. so let's see the release here. One. Okay. One. Oh, okay. Oh. There we go. Uh, one, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, Well, 13. I think, I feel, oh, God bless. Uh, that is 13 frames. Uh, that is less time than uh, Mario Smash Attack. <laughs> 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 that is four less frames than a hero back air. That is, that is actually true. That is, that is very true, actually. Admittedly, it's like yeah, six rob down tilts. 
Uh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't do that. We don't, we, we don't measure Rob down so. It's, that's not the unit of measurement we go <laughs> uh, with? Okay. Uh, uh, replace the metric system at Rob down <laughs> But, um, yeah, like, yeah, but right now, small battlefield again, and BB's is getting the better of stretch right now. Um, I feel like he might get, he, ha he has kind of a feel for where stretch is coming from right now, unless Ooh. he gets edge guarded. That's that thing, though. That is a, that is a big unless. You know, that's how Stretch got that first game in the first stock in the last game. And, oh, the turnaround down. Yeah, yeah that, that was that was really fast. Ah, uh, but burning the jump is kind of a really rough spot. And now it's maybe cleaning things up. And now this is kind of similar to the second stock of uh, the last game where VV has all this percentage on him. And he can just run away with this if Stretch is not able to take this stock, which honestly... Yeah, Lucario with the lead is a really messed up character, mostly because if you have him in high percentage and you're not taking the stock, he might just lop you for no reason. Oh, man, look at that. Those aura spheres are so scary. He's charging them for like half a second or like six frames and then the size of Lucina's head and chest. Yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, good, good stuff by Stretch, catching that jump away. And BB very much plays both of his characters the same, right? Now, instead of instead of B reversing and charging menu, looking at menu, he's just B reversing and charging Aura Sphere, right? Both, both, both party game tactics, but both tactics that work out very well for him. And he's very good at it, too. He uses it as a very good movement option to get down to the ground. Yeah, Lucario's movement in general, very underrated. Oh! You know what else is underrated? Stretch's combo game. Did you see all that damage? Question is, you know, combos are nice. You know, it's always fun to beat Lucario up for a little bit. But can you actually take stocks? Yeah, and that down smash almost taking it. That was so good. The beefy up beat to punish him for uh, being at the ledge there. Yeah, and reversing, actually, you know, reversing his momentum with the side B again after doing the reverse aura sphere. Really good by VV. He's trying to chase him down. Lucario was kind of so tricky to nail in one place. Neutral, I guess, because he ended up in front of him. That should be it. Oh, nope. no! That's right! Okay. Yeah, that's right. Lucina has a good uh, shield. Uh, shield. Good combo breaking. Yep. And that was also the buff dash attack. I think that actually mattered there because yeah. he got the strong hit of it. Yeah, B yeah, BB is not messing around with stress while he's in his shield. He's leaving Jeez. him alone. 41. Yeah, I remember how we said that uh, up being can be real risky. 41 from him. He actually almost lost. Yo, so real quick, after that down air, Stretch almost lost his stock. <laughs> he actually almost got force palm, but um, good for him. BB didn't catch on, but good stuff by Stretch. Keeping it close, and now, you know, only at 54%. This is a good look for him. With, with Lucario at 0%, you could try to rack on damage really quick and try to edge guard Lucario as fast as possible. Yeah, oh, man, those... The falling up air is such a good combo starter. Unfortunately, though, Stretch not really able to get much off of it. You know, he's getting these individual hits here and there, playing the neutral very, very well. But BB is just is between his DI and his landing options. Look, do you see that spacing right there? Yeah. He's not getting hit, put in a blender. No vortex for him. Yeah, and, and, and you know, the good thing about fighting against Lucario is that you know that Lucario will not kill you sub 80%, right? So when Lucario is at 0%, you know Lucario is not going to catch a stock unless you do something really dumb. Oh, man. You willingly put yourself on the ledge there, buddy. Yeah. That's going to be it. What? No, yeah, yeah. Mid-stage, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. that's it. Yeah, all right. I can't believe you survived that force bomb. You, you seem so confident. Like, oh, yeah, mid-stage. I've seen that little <laughs> kill up. Yeah. Freaking, like, 30. Hey, I, I play a fire from character. I've gotten hit by that enough by Vivi to know <laughs> that he was okay. <laughs> yeah. And actually, I don't know if we got a clip of it. Oh, that's like, yeah, that's pixels from hitting the blast. His diamond was outside of the blast zone. Hey, hey I was confident, and I was right. <laughs> so That's all I have to say about that one. Uh, but then caught that with the Aura Sphere, and like the Aura Sphere at the ledge is such a tricky mix-up, right? Because you can either throw it, throw the Aura Sphere, bait an option, or you can just throw it high to see if they jump. Yeah. Also, it, I believe it has enough uh, low recovery on it that he'd be able to still cover roll. Yes, maybe. Yes, I think so. 
Oh, did you see the spacing right there? Baiting out that neutral air. This is actually so cool right now. Just look at the way that Vivi is navigating all around everything that Stretch wants to do. Yeah, yeah, you have to, you know. and Because as a car, you don't have, like, the best buttons don't have the best uh, range, so you kind of have to just play around in that way with your movement options. Ooh! Look at the micro spacing. Are you? That actually did it. Wow, that actually took the stock. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of surprised that it took the stock that early, even though like you know we didn't talk about or you know or sphere everything, but at oh, 100% yeah. from that part of small battlefield. Forty? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're dead. Oh my God, you're dead. Yo, what? What was that stock from Vivi? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is, uh, Stretch worked so hard to get here. Why are you being so mean to him? Hey man, look. This is gonna not be in New York. Is this really the last thing you want Stretch to remember you as? V hey. I've been waiting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vivi knows. He's like, hey man, I can hear hear him in his head right now. He's like, hey, I play low tier. <laughs> I play low tier. Get good. <laughs> like. Uh, but right now, with Stretch racking it up, I mean, yeah, the percent really fast, 76%. And if, if he could stay sub 100, then he's in good shape right now. Ooh, what a tech! Yeah, if Stretch can take this stock without getting to 100%, I feel like he's in very good shape. Looking for the final kill, but Vivi just managing to avoid it. These recoveries, he hasn't really managed to make it back to a neutral, but, well, why does I say it? Finally, it's yeah, just in time and, to die. Yeah, and good stuff, and this, yeah, and good stuff by Stretch, man. Taking, taking back those stocks and only getting 48% tacked onto him, he's in a very good position right now. At the same time, though, look at the way that BB is moving. It's, he's still, it still feels like he knows exactly what Stretch is trying to do. And at 74%, you know, he's not going to be necessarily dying to that much just yet, but okay. And yeah. now we're at the point where uh, even if Stretch manages to do, like, a 70% combo from here. Now he's at that percent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, now this time where Lucario could actually kill you with something at the ledge. That's what you're looking for. Still managing to cover so many options. Yeah. No way. You might, oh. have lost, you might have lost your stock for that. Yeah, and Stretch bringing it all the way back. Oh, yeah, Baby's in danger. He needs to get. He needs to get out off the ledge right now. And good rolling, trying to establish center again. And oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, I thought, you know, yep. I'm not gonna lie, I thought Stretch up bead, and I thought Stretch, stretch uh, just pulled it off, and then I was just like. Yeah, I, I felt like Stretch was inconsistently. Sometimes he would break out of it with up B, and then other times he wouldn't. It gets invincibility in the air at frame one, so I'm fairly certain he did not uh, get the up B. Yeah. That might have been no. true. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, actually, that was absolutely yeah, that, that, true. Yeah, that was also, look at that nice, juicy hitbox. Mmm, yeah, okay. Yeah, he needs it. Um, yeah, good, you know, good stuff by Vivi, man. Cause, and also, man, you know, good stuff by from you know from stretch fourth place finish. You know, absolutely. Nothing, nothing to scoff at, man. Had a really good bracket today, and man, um, even that last game made Vivi work for it really hard. So, yeah, good, good stuff by players and Vivi, man. Vivi, Vivi, yeah, he, he held on at the end of that because stretch is coming for him, but you know, Vivi held on to that um to that game, but um, yeah, good stuff.